Hello, well, this is Home Run Cards and Collectibles. Uh, we're back with a, another PSA. Uh, my store's down below there. Um, Home Run Cards and Collectibles is on Instagram now, and GLR7010 is going to be the whatnot. Uh, this order was a $30 value order, $96 to present. Um, it was shipped at NPA on 723, arrived at PSA on 725, and it, it was delivered here on 919. Um, this is some of my personal stuff, and some of the stuff's going to be for sale. Now, this is this is a Zach Grinky Future Stars. This is in the 2004 top set. I got. They were sticking. Um, it was off a little bit, um, but I still thought it was intolerance. It got a PSA nine, very hard grader on the, on the, on these cards. Um, it was nice. I didn't even get no PSA eight. So now this is out of my set too. Uh, this is a two thousand five Justin Verlander uh, PSA ten. Um, I said it would really look nice, this card in the back and front. I said me and my sister looked this card over and said, well, if this one don't get a 10, then we didn't get graded right. So this was our judgment in this order. Oh, by the way, please let me know where your orders are. Are they in grading or did you get them back? Um, I'm still waiting on, um, we're waiting on um, 95 and older. They still in research and ID. Let me know where your stuff's at. Now this is a Max Serger. This is another one that I thought was a ten. I, it's it's well centered. Corners are good on this. Um, the back's a little bit off, so that's the only thing I can see. It's off a little bit the back. But I said to me, I I think they misgraded this one, but that's just me. I said, now I got some Paul Goldschmidt's and PSA 10s. Some of these will go out for sale. Uh, I, I'm doing a next order here. It come in, so. I said, he's got a chance at a triple crown this year. I said, he's being a little bit forgotten about Judge and the Polos, but he's had a really good year. Paul. I got two two uh, things. Now this this one got a a nine. Yeah. And the only thing I know is the corner wasn't cut right from the factory up on this one. But I, I thought they, they allowed that because even in the bottom corner, but I guess they don't. Because <laughs> it's well centered. Um to me that should have been a ten. A lot of these cards in this order should have been tense. But sometimes that's how the ball rolls. This is another very nice copy of um, Nolan Aaron Auto in the gold. The, um, it got a nine. Let me see what that said. To me, it was like a little bit of the corners. Like they're just not cut like they... But I think I think they're getting a little bit too picky on that. Now this was definitely off centered. I, I said I figured this was a nine, but he was going up, so I did the thirty dollar order. I have a couple of these for sale. It'll be nines. Um, he I hope he hits the, breaks the record. Let me know if you're rooting for him or not rooting for him to break the record. Uh, this is a uh, Fernando Guerrero Jr. Uh, I did not see no marks on this card. This card, I said, is I don't know why. You, you guys see something that they don't let me know. I said, I said uh, it looks like a really good card. It got nine. This is the two out of two thousand sixteen Bowman. Uh, this, this, I, maybe I didn't tell you, this is the 2013, um, uh, Bowman Crumb Judge. This is his first draft card. And the last card in this order is, uh, Fernando Tatis. 
Now this one definitely had a printing line. I said it said it seemed like a good card. It said it had a little mark on the surface, so I was expecting a nine. But these the Guerrero and the Tatis was up at the time, but when Tatis got uh, down, so for somehow he took Guerrero with him. So I don't know why. On that, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, we're going to get to another video here. Again, our store is down here, eBay store. You can go down there, GL for having to time. I said, uh, you have a great day, and on to the next one.